Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Uh, this morning, I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, my experience over the last couple days with this three-day seasonal fast. Uh, technically, today is day three, so I'm not totally done, but the last couple days have been a little eventful, <laughs> I guess. So I want to share that experience with you um, and just kind of let you know why I even did this fast in the first place. Um, and if you're interested in joining us next season um, for our fast, then um, you'll also see a link to our private Facebook group uh, in the description. So um, I've got a little notes uh, here. I'm hoping that the quality of the video today is better than last week. Last week was kind of choppy, so I apologize for that. But uh, basically, you know, this three-day fast is, um, I guess I'll talk about the reasons why I did it first. So first off, obviously, there's the seasonal shift happening, right? We're kind of leaving winter and entering spring. And so that kind of represents this seasonal and also energetic shift that's happening. Um, and from a Chinese medical perspective, spring is the season of the liver. And so when we think about the liver, we think about that renewal and that detoxification and that cleansing and that um, sort of flexibility in a sense. And so um, spring is actually my favorite time to do a cleanse. Um, I'm not a big cleanser, you know, in the winter months or anything like that. Our body needs to kind of rest and uh, recharge during those times. Um, but this is just a little three-day mini fast. It's not like a huge detox program. So um, anyways, um, I also really like the idea of fasting because it's almost like a three-day reset. It's like it's almost like a meditation of sorts. It kind of brings you into this mindset of being really mindful of what you're doing and why you're doing it and kind of brings your awareness to a lot of habits that you might have that you might not even be aware of, uh, things like snacking or, you know, I don't know, going to the fridge or going to the pantry if, you know, you're just kind of bored or something like that. So um, anyways, it just kind of brings some mindfulness around there. Um, and also self-control, right? And something really cool is uh, one of the ladies who's doing the fast with me, there's about 25 of us who are doing it, uh, which is really fun and exciting. I've never done this before. Um, but anyway, she was saying on our private Facebook group that um, I'll actually quote her. <laughs> I won't say her name because I want to keep her, uh, her privacy. But um, she said, you know, I, I never thought I could fast anything, but I'm always surprised at how our bodies bend to our mental strength and persistence. Each time I've tried a change in eating, I've been amazed at what my body could do each time. I mean, that's just so cool. It's so empowering and so um, encouraging, I guess. Um, so that was just really cool to read. Um, I actually read that this morning, so it was kind of perfect timing. Um, but this this fast, this sort of three-day three, three day fast, it's, it is like that reset. It's like um, this mindset shift that that happens and um, it's just super super helpful if you're trying to shift you know your overall eating patterns or kind of getting into new habits or things like that it's kind of like this this purposeful shift right that happens so um, but one of my favorite reasons for fasting and the reason that I did it um, is really for mitochondrial health and so our mitochondria, if you remember from, I don't know, junior high or high school biology class, are our little powerhouses in our each of our cells. And so those powerhouses are the source of our energy. That's like the main, I guess if you want to talk about root cause, right? It's like the mitochondria are kind of like they're the deal. They're what we really want to pay attention to a lot of times. And you'll probably be seeing more and more um, buzz around mitochondria over the next few months and definitely over the next few years. But, um, you know, these mitochondria basically, um, when we fast, go through a process called um, mitophagy or autophagy. It's kind of like they basically uh, clean, clean up house. So it's kind of like spring cleaning for your mitochondria. They basically destroy any cells or mitochondria that are damaged or not working well. And then there's that ability to kind of replenish those and bring new mitochondria um, into the picture. So that's really amazing. And that's really one of the main reasons why I've done it. I had an organic acids test done recently on, on myself and my mitochondria were working a little bit slower than I would like them to. So this was just a little bit of a, a boost <laughs> for me <laughs> to kind of do that. Um, what else? So fasting also um, induces metabolic signaling 
healing that helps to reduce potential for diabetes, cardiovascular disease, um, and even some cancers. So that's pretty powerful and cool. Um, fasting also reduces the amount of free radicals in our body. Um, so it helps to renew the immune system and um, also the regulation of stem cell production. And also, um, basically, I think I said all the things I wanted to say there. And then, um, so about my experience. <laughs> so uh, Monday was the first day of the fast. Um, I'm going to take a little sip of my elixir right now. But um, so Monday was the first day of my fast. And I am I, I, I wanted to do it during the week because I knew that if I didn't have anything to do, I was going, it was going to be like the longest period of time ever. So I wanted to make sure that I had things to do, like do work and see clients and, you know, work on projects and all of this stuff, which was really, really, really helpful. But anyway, day one was Monday and I had what we call uh, in Chinese medicine, sudden turmoil disorder, <laughs> which I won't get into uh, to, uh detailed but anyways is basically my body purged <laughs> quite a bit on Monday and I was like whoa this is <laughs> kind of unexpected and um, sort of surprising but it passed and I felt great the rest of the day but then on Tuesday I had a migraine and I I mean I rarely get migraines now like I get one I don't know once every few years so I was like, what is going on? My body is obviously like I'm releasing a lot of toxins because that's basically what happens when you're when you're fasting too. your body just kind of releases a bunch of a gunk that's been stuck. Um, so anyways, that was um, exciting. Um, not really, though. Uh, but what I was doing is I have this uh, new cookbook that I really like. And so I've been <laughs> I, I've been looking at <laughs> pictures of this cookbook, which is amazing because like back to that mindset shift, um, like everything looks good in here. And it's, you know, incredibly healthy meals. Um, a lot of them, there's a lot of like autoimmune paleo recipes and things like that. But um Anyways, that's what I've been doing. Um, so anyways, like what happened, right? Like why did I have this crazy experience, which was not expected at all. I was thinking I was going to just like fly through this, no problem, three days, done, like whatever. Um, so I was reflecting and I was just like, why, why did my body respond like that? And a, a few things, I was on my period during it. I don't know if that had much to do with it, maybe. Um, I'm also doing a really intense gut protocol myself right now, so there's just a lot of stirring up that's happening. And then one of my root causes is also mold, and so that's something that I'm constantly um, kind of working on and um, whatever. So there's definitely a potential that mold kind of got stirred up in my body as well, which easily could have led to a migraine. Um, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, today, day three, so far, so good. Fingers crossed. Um, so that's kind of my experience. And if you were on the fast, I would love to hear more about your experience. Um, but otherwise, I don't know. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and I will see you next week. Um, and if you are interested in staying up to date on, you know, the next seasonal fast we do or just staying up to date um, on different events that are happening in our private Facebook group, I've got the link in the description for you. So I hope to see you there. Have a great rest of your day. See you later.